Okay, uh, hello again, and uh, today uh, it's just a, a dismantling video really. Um, this came out of a skip, and um, I saw it and I thought, I wonder what that is. Um, and I, I took it took it out of the skip and had a close look, and um, the sticker on the front sort of, let me see if I can get that in focus without it being wiped out by the lighting. There we go, Stanley Security Solutions. Um, this is obviously, um, we'll just focus you back in again, um, a control unit for a certain CCTV system. Um, now I don't know what particular system it interacts with because, uh, you know, it's got Concept Pro, um, and all that there is on the back is a standard um, Cat5 connector. Um, nothing special. There's no other um, markings on here. The serial number's there. That's about it. Um, it says it's compliant. So I thought, well, you know, um, what's it going to be? Um, feeling these buttons these are just push button membrane sort of keyboard buttons nothing spectacular if 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 anything they may be little tactile switches um, this is the interesting part this is actually a three axis joystick so you, so you've got X Y and you've actually got twist for Z so this will actually be a useful thing for um, motor controls or for you know say camera control if you're going to do something with an arduino or just to drive servos to to remote control something else so that's what i thought i'll do with this um is that i would actually just remove this section um and possibly keep the display um the box as it is unless you put a new front panel on um, which involves, you know, sort of curling aluminium. Um, it's not so much of an easy thing to do, so it's probably just as easy to just dismantle, um, take the bits you want, and uh, dump the rest. So let's open up the bottom. I'm going to turn those lights down because you're getting a reflection off the bottom of this for now. Or I'll get this off quickly, and we can actually see what's in the bottom of this. looks like somebody's already been in this with a screwdriver because there's one screw missing um, so um, yeah we've got a nice flat plate with uh, push through feet that could be useful um, let's have a look um, so that's an STC looks like a, a microcontroller so that's that's the brains of the box that looks just like a, a simple voltage regulator. Um, 7805, so yeah, that's just a 5 volt voltage regulator. Um, got a bridge rectifier here, which I can't see the thing being supplied with mains, but um, you never know. There's an, comes in, You could get AC down the, the cable that comes in. Um, and then you've got this wonderful joystick assembly here um, which actually has yeah, Z, H and V so um, twist, horizontal and vertical uh, voltage and common ground so uh, yeah, I would imagine yeah so that, that's, that's all there is to that um, it's just a common ground uh, joystick so you read with a an Arduino you read whichever one of these three pins you want to um, for your inputs um, as analog inputs and then set that to ground that would go to your 5 volt rail and um, it will then use you know just use voltage measurements to 
to get the uh, the positioning coordinates that you want. Um, is there anything on these boards worth salvaging? Let's have a look. Um, doesn't look like it. The keyboard, as I say, it looks like tactile switching. So um, well, let's unplug it. Let's unplug that bit uh, and start by removing that. Again, I'm going to dim the lights down a little bit further so we're not... Uh, blinded by the light as it were. Um, common screws uh, that uh, fit together there. So that that just comes out like that and unplugs like that. So that is purely an RJ45 socket on a PCB. Um, nothing special there with a bit of aluminium to protect the back end. Um, right screwdriver, yes, right screwdriver. Um, spring washers and standard washers on this, so uh, yeah, prevents uh, screws coming loose from vibration. thread. Uh, what else we got? That one holding it down. And that one holding yeah. Okay, so um, that board is now loose. So yeah, that just uses a standard row of headers to connect to the the switchboard. Um, then here you've got what looks like an insulated display board. Well, it's got fibre washers here. Let's see if I can get out the way of the camera so that you can see a bit better. So that's insulated from there. You've got this board here. Strange that they used a second circuit board with a second set of sort of standoffs and brackets for that. Now does that just, right, that comes out. So this is, let's just move that over here. This is a standard sort of display module, 16, 16 pin connector, um, I suppose I could look up the, no, there's no identifying numbers under there, I could look up the connectors, I could look up this board number and uh, see what the chipset is, it, it might just be a standard display type board two line, well, I don't know, 28 characters maybe, um, with a backlight, it has, it does actually have a, a backlight here, so uh, it does light up in the dark, um, as I say, I can't understand why they've used this sort of mounting instead of putting the mounting post straight there, but um, that'll be useful um, to an Arduino if nothing else. Um, Say so not so sure about the controller, but um, yeah, that's obviously your power in from your RJ45. Um, doesn't seem to be anything that comes. Oh, let's lift that up. I don't know. Ah, yes, um, you've got AC coming in from two pins on here into the bridge rectifier. So this will be using um, power over ethernet so you can use your standard computer network wiring to to run the power for this um, and obviously they overlay the AC signal um, oh, you know, uh, 
7805 regulator on the heatsink is, is always a nice thing to have. A uh, little buzzer. Um, I would imagine we could um, set a voltage up. Let me just uh, crank that down down to about 5 volts, 3 volts. Let's see what happens at 3.5 volts. Uh, where are we? Positive is at this end. So yep, yeah, so we got a buzzer. Um, what else is worth salvaging? You know, um, yeah, looking at that, you know, crystal is that a weird frequency? Um, Eleven point oh five nine two. Nothing special, but uh, again, could be useful. I suppose if I had the inclination I could work out what the programming pins on that microcontroller are and read the program, but uh, I'm really not that bothered. Um, can't see anything else that we've got on here that's worth worth taking off um, without identifying what these chips are. So, um, yeah, let's, let's just uh, take the glue off the edge of this so that I can put that in the spares box as a separate thing. That I'll disable some bits. Let's come back to the main board and how's this held in? One screw or are all these uh, standoffs, uh, three screws sorry, are all these standoffs uh, also screwed to the to the container? Um, if they were, that would make for a fairly expensive front panel, um, simply because you've obviously got to... Oh, dropped one on the floor there. It's not quite on the floor, I can see it. I will pick it up in a minute. Let's take this apart. Yeah, they're all done. Wrench out one, two, three. Loosen that one, loosen that one. Ah, so, yeah, so they actually have um, fixed sockets, um, threaded sockets onto the onto the front panel which uh, certainly does add to the cost. Here we go. Oh, quite large tactile switches. So, uh, with, with proper size buttons. Um, looking at that, you could work out the multiplexing and I suppose you could use it as a, as a standard keypad, so that would then mean that uh, you could do all sorts of other functions with this. And uh, instead of having this control board in there, you mount an Arduino. Um, something for future projects, I guess. Okay, um, so there we go. That's the, the dismantling of the said item. Uh, I'm going to leave it at this point because uh, I'm going to put this away somewhere so I don't lose any of the bits. And um, hopefully we'll see you in the next video. So there's a, a security camera control unit in pieces and uh, dismantled for your enjoyment. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.